building the election, and what an interesting election it is this year. Anyway, let's jump right into this. This year it's Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. Two issues will be covered in this video, border security and allowing Syrian refugees into the U.S. Most well known of Trump's immigration policies is building the wall across the Mexican border. This all be designed to keep illegal immigrants out and encourage new immigration from Mexico. Uh, one issue with this wall is that the United States has treaties with Mexico that prevent either country from blocking rivers and waterways that flow between the two countries. Another issue is that the cost be enormous, so it costs about $400 billion, and this cost will include both cost building the wall and cost to track down and deport illegal immigrants already in the country, even though those deportations stretch over 20 years. Hilly wants to make a path to legal residency for illegal immigrants already here. She wants to abolish the free tenure bans, private detention centers, and uphold the DACA and DAP Act, which grants temporary legal status to illegal immigrants, female children, and all their families. She wants to give them access to health care as well as create a office of immigration that was cost estimated $15 million. There are many that are concerned about this because many illegal immigrants in the country have criminal records. Trump's not trust for refugees is even Syria. For global increased access to terrorism, he believes ISIS members are claiming to be refugees or to enter the US. He stated that he wants to put a temporary ban on all Muslim immigrants to the US to identify any terrorists trying to enter as refugees. He sent troops to Syria to combat terrorism and create a safe space within Syria to aid refugees and eliminate the need for refugees to leave Syria. Clinton wants to accept 6 to 5,000 Syrian refugees into the US. She believes the US experienced some of the worst refugee crises since World War II and the US do more to help accept Syrian refugees. She has slightly emphasized she does not want to accept everyone coming to the US. She does want an 18 12 month screening process for refugees, but she has not made a definite statement what the screening process will look like or how it would work. Illegal immigration and refugee crisis are definitely important topics for Dayton region. Dayton should consider sanctuary city if the police are not out to ask for a person's immigration status. Some say this could attract illegal immigrants, for criminals, but others say that immigrants are beneficial because they help improve the region. And for sanctuary city status, most likely to say the same, under Trump, most likely end. For this in mind, go make your go educate decision and vote. Your decision will help determine whether you want former legal immigrants and current student refugees in the Dayton region. Of course, some say this might increase crime by letting refugees in and immigrants. Others say might improve the region by being more people and more cultural diversity. Either way, make sure you vote which candidate best represents your position. Every vote counts in this election.